from the last episode of Palavision. Here I am at the Thai Cambodian border. I'm gonna spend one night there. Tomorrow I'm coming back. Thank yeah. you, thank you yeah. very much. Yeah, thank See you, you next time. Yes. And heading back to the border. <laughs> Back at the border. All right. It was just enough from Cambodia for now. I'm heading back. Uh, departure. Okay. So what happened is I was trying to go through the border, and on the Thai side they were saying that I crossed the border too many times uh, recently. So they refused to let me in. They expelled me from the kingdom. I need to go through uh, with plane. So airborne, I can't press the, cross the border anymore like this. I was quite surprised. It was a bit devastating. Uh, so they took pictures of me. They took me to the side and everything like like criminal. Uh, they just stopped me. Oh, alright, okay, wait, wait, some guys pulled me to the side. Oh, you just need to pay. They took pictures of my passport, they're saying that, oh, we just wait 20 minutes, we're gonna tell you the price, and after that, you're gonna get the visa. Amazing, amazing. Hello. So, guess the country? It's Cambodia again. I couldn't go today back to Thailand as I was saying in the previous clip uh, I can see that people are trying to make money corruption exists here yes it's quite bad everything is about money so the main income the source of income is taking money from tourists so they told me I need to pay $450 not today, I need to do it tomorrow. They took me to an office where I was sitting for one and a half hours. Following that, there was a gentleman coming back with my passport and a soldier. They started like uh, checking the pages in my passport. They were asking all sorts of questions, who I am, how I make money, uh, where I'm coming from, etc, etc. Uh, the soldier was standing in the corner at the same time, uh, spitting into a bin. I think these guys watched so many action movies from the 90s. Uh, they were trying to like, I don't know, scare me, threaten me, something. Of course, they wanted some extra money. They were saying that, oh, well, you need to pay more because now you're coming back to Cambodia and stuff. So, sorry, I don't have more money. Oh, all right, well, in that case, it's a problem, it's a problem. It's like, well, if it's a problem or not, I can sit here, but I can't give you more money. So they left for five minutes, they came back to the room, they gave back the passport, they said, okay, you can go. So I'm gonna spend the night here in this magical hotel, uh, still in Cambodia. Everything happens by a reason. I had to stay one more night here, so tomorrow in the morning, I will need to go back to a guy I talked with, with a nice baseball hat and a, a little bag, and uh, he's gonna take me through the border for an extra money, and, they, and I'm gonna get my stamps, and I can go back to Thailand. Yeah. Nobody told me there's a rule that you can't go or you need to spend more days here before you go back It's all corruption as I see everyone is involved. They're all working as a team and they just want money But that's all right money doesn't matter uh, and <laughs> It's can't can't ruin my happiness. I saw this an Angkor Wat today, which is a world heritage and it was beautiful so I'm glad I came. I'm gonna have one more night here. 
tomorrow I'm going back. Good morning. I'm walking towards the border. This place is oh, freaking me out a bit. Look, that building, for example, burned down probably a while ago and just here sitting there. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, I'm going Thailand. Thank you. So everyone wants to stop me. They are doing this uh, passport scam. Everyone just showing to me like, oh, stamp, stamp, passport, going somewhere. So yeah. Good morning. Yes, yeah, yeah I got stamp. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm not too sure where, where I can go across here. Just want to walk to the border. You can see that um, slightly covering the camera. People are not too friendly about it. They don't really like to be filmed. But I wanted to show like what is the state of the border. How is it looking? Um, you walking around the town on the street just around the border. Everyone is fixed on. Uh, the tourists, everyone wanna take someone, tell them that oh look you need to give me some money and I'm gonna sort out uh, the stamp in your passport basically you just can't pass for free you need to pay <coughs> I made it oh, on the tight side now I'm just gonna have a look at the what did I get for February uh, 28th of March hey, hey my bike is here at the hotel so I'm just gonna hop on go somewhere eat get changed to my biking dre bike dress and oh, head to home probably I don't know about the next step I didn't wanna plan anything ahead until I I get here that wasn't easy Wow, but nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. No one, no one can break me. <laughs> Even soldiers who's trying to interrogate me. <coughs> I made it. his names man I'm really not good with that one so 13th of February happy birthday to me uh, last night was amazing after midnight my friend Stefan and Thomas they organized the cake in this bar I didn't expect it at all oh, it was just so nice uh, I'll show you the video here <laughs> fucking good birthday fucking good good day so let's continue with fucking good bike ride now we're gonna go back home we're gonna go back to the island it's gonna be a long road but i know that it's gonna be amazing see you later let's roll Ha, 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 ha. 